It has been six years since we've had an official Doctor Who television spin-off with 2016's class. Reception for the series was mixed and it ended up being cancelled after one season. Now, class wasn't my personal cup of tea, but I think maybe if it had a second season, it might have found its feet. But this video isn't about me complaining about class and how I still have unresolved trauma over the Shadow King sex scene. No. Instead, I'm going to discuss what would be my personal ideal Doctor Who spin-off. I think the series I would like to see most would be an anthology series that follows the lives of the Doctor's companions long after they left the Doctor. As an anthology series, it would highlight a different companion each week. It would be a mix of classic series and new series companions and have them thrown back into a world that they had left behind. Today, I'm gonna to go through some of the episode ideas with certain characters I think a follow-up story makes sense. I will only be discussing actors who are still alive, and if I leave someone out, it doesn't mean that I don't think they deserve an episode. It's just not on my series one outline. Episode one, Susan Foreman. It's been 60 years since Susan was left on a battle-scorched earth to rebuild after the destruction of the Daleks. Her grandfather promised that one day he would come back, but he never did. I think there could be many directions you could take Susan. She could have become bitter that the Doctor never returned, or maybe she has moved on with it and found peace from it, living with the happy memories of her days with her grandfather, but now living a meaningful life, rebuilding a community. Story-wise, it could be something as simple as a Dalek survived, buried deep within the city, and has finally awoken. And many people who had fought the Daleks in the past are long gone, but Susan as a Time Lord ages different to other people and remembers, and people have to look onto her of how to stop the Daleks. Maybe she's lost the willpower, or is it her chance to finally prove herself that she can defeat the Daleks without the Doctor's interference? It could even lead to her regenerating into a new incarnation. I think a post-Dalek Invasion Earth story is an interesting setting, and one that hasn't really been visited in the television show since. I also find it strange that out of all the companions to return, I feel like Susan's the obvious choice. She's the Doctor's granddaughter, and that family tie makes her so much more important, and I feel like there's so many unanswered questions. But maybe the mystery of who Susan is, her role on Gallifrey, how the Doctor and her ran away is something that needs to be preserved. But I think the dynamic of the Doctor saying specifically, one day I'll come back, and then never did, is good drama. To have the Doctor come back in their 15th incarnation and be like, hey Susan, and she's like, you haven't seen me for 14 regenerations or more. I think there's something interesting character-wise there to say. And I know they've done like big finish audios with that sort of thing with the eighth Doctor, but I think it would be something that would be really great for the TV screen. Episode two, Martha Jones. Martha had left the Doctor on her own terms and chose to forge a life for herself knowing her worth. She had worked with UNIT, Torchwood, and even Freelance, but where is Martha now? Personally, straight up, I wouldn't even acknowledge the fact that Martha married Mickey. Their partnership never made any sense to me. They are such an unlikely couple. I listened to a Big Finish audio years ago with Gwen and Martha called Dissected by Tim Foley. It's a great one-off episode where Gwen goes to Martha with a dead body and needs her help. It's essentially all in one location, a unit lab, and Gwen and Martha are stuck in a room and have to discuss why they stopped being friends. It's a beautiful character piece and I think it's a great example of what I would like to see from this series. I'm not interested in massive, huge explosions and crazy big budgets, but smaller character stories. It could even be a team up like Dissected, Two characters reunite that actually makes sense for their character, as in they know each other. Unlike having two beloved classic series companions who would have never met each other and I don't know how they would have met, just randomly knowing each other out of nowhere. I did enjoy Tegan and Ace coming back, I don't care if it didn't make any sense that they were friends. I also just adore Martha, and it would be great if Freema came back to Doctor Who. I think if Martha went back to working with Yuna, it would make sense for her to be a recurring appearance every now and then. I feel like she's one of the few new series companions where it makes sense if they come back. You know, you've got people like Rose who are lost in another universe, Donna who can't possibly remember the Doctor, 
but then those people come back anyway. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't really matter. I think all it really takes is a really good writer with a really good idea to make anyone come back make sense. Episode three, Joe Grant. Joe Grant, after traveling with the doctor, constantly explored the world, protesting and fighting for change. She would be as passionate and full of love and life as she always has been. I think this would be a great chance to get Unit involved and having Joe being called in as an advisor role that the Doctor usually would have. A returning villain that she had faced, like the Sea Devils, the Master, Axons, Giant Maggots. What'd you call me? There's lots to choose from and she's more than capable of handling them. I think her story should have some sort of political or environmental message. Something that her character is passionate about. It's not so much about proving herself that she can handle the problem on her own without the doctor, but it should be something that she's fighting for because it's her fight. Maybe a return with the Autons. Something about microplastics in our bodies and the Autons are using microplastics to take over people. I don't know. But I feel like this is something Joe would be super passionate about and a story that's written for her. I want the series to face problems that yes, the Doctor could or would solve, but the stories are more tailored than that. It feels like, no, this is something this companion should be fixing. And I think after her appearance in the Sarah Jane Adventures, I feel like most people felt like she's the natural successor to Sarah Jane. Katie Manning is someone who is just full of life and love and I think Every time she's on screen, it's impossible not to smile. So I would love to see her back playing the role. Girl power! Yay! Episode four, Rose and Jackie. So we'll bring back Rose for the Rose fans, but all I really want is Jackie back. I just want Jackie. Sure, there's something interesting about the human tank doctor and Rose and how that works, but Jackie? That's what it's about. What is she up to? But seriously, a parallel earth where things are only slightly different. You could tell any story. A twist on a Doctor Who episode where only Rose and the human doctor could solve it. It could even be a story from Matt Smith's first season, like the Silurian story, but Rose and the doctor have to solve it instead. And things go in a completely different direction. Maybe it ends up the Silurians did reach an agreement with the human race and they're cohabiting the planet. I think it's difficult though with new series companions because for so many of them, they have natural story conclusions that have already happened. It's easier to write about classic series companions and where they end up because it's not as detailed as the new series is. It feels like Rose has been back already and her story is done. Whereas Dodo Chaplet, no one knows where she's even been. She just didn't turn up one day. She didn't even get a proper goodbye. She could be anywhere. Like you've just got Polly coming up and being like, yeah, she's gone. And the doctor's like, yeah, sounds good. Fuckity bye. And off he pops. And then he just kidnaps two other people. Damn, 60s Doctor Who was wild. The first Doctor really was into kidnapping. Anyway, sorry, that was a bit of a tangent. <laughs> Episode five, Romana 2 and Leela. In a lot of expanded media, Romana went on to become the president of the Time Lords which I think would be nice to approach if she reappeared. Also, we know that Leela stayed behind on Gallifrey after leaving the Doctor, so it would be interesting to see a story of them together on Gallifrey. I'm aware of a Gallifrey audio series with Big Finish that is supposed to be quite good. I've never personally listened to it, but I guess it would be a good base to this type of episode. I'm not a huge Gallifrey fan. I find those stories kind of dull, but a political thriller might be a bit fun. It's like a bit different. I'd also like to see how Leela went on Gallifrey. I find the idea of her being in such a stuffy setting kind of hilarious. <laughs> She'd be a fish out of water, but after so much time had passed, it'd be interesting to see how she settled in. Episode six, Ace. I'm not entirely sure if I would want an episode just for Ace. I feel like the power of the Doctor addressed some of the things I'd like to see in her episode. How she left the Doctor, what she did afterwards, but that could always be fleshed out more. Let's say with our crazy Disney Plus money, they get Ace and the Seventh Doctor back together and de-age them for one final adventure, where Ace leaves the Doctor and it leads directly into the TV movie, giving her a proper goodbye and what could be seen as the final episode of the classic series filmed what, 20 years later, 30 years later, I can't do math. I think this would be a nice conclusion to this series, a type of story that we never thought would happen. A conclusion to the Seventh Doctor and Ace. And you know, if we're going down that route, I'd love a de-aged Sixth Doctor meeting Mel for the first time. 
Let's just fill in all the gaps of the classic series. <laughs> but that would be ridiculously expensive to de-age them and make that work. You've even got Star Wars trying to do this and they've got crazy money and it still doesn't look 100% right. Oh well, this is a fantasy series anyway, so I can dream up whatever regardless of the cost. So, that's my loosey-goosey outline for season one. It's more just to set the vibe and tone for the series rather than anything. Plus, it's pure fantasy and it's never gonna be up to me to decide what happens. And I know what you're thinking, Josh, you're such a massive Nissa fan, where is her episode? And look, she doesn't get an episode, but that's because she's gonna have her own spin-off show, The Nissa Adventures coming soon to Disney+. Plus. So, if this series was made, what companions or characters would you like to see get their own episode? Or if you could make any spin-off, what would you do? Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Josh Nez YouTube channel. How could I possibly forget that?